Hey guys, this is Gabriel from thecoffeefield.com and today I wanted to make a video and show you the difference in extraction when using uh, different tampa bases. So if you watched any of my previous videos or if you went on my blog and you um, you know, read my blog post about the force damper, um, you would know that I received the force damper uh, with a bunch of different bases. Um, and so I just wanted to kind of make a comparison and see if there's any difference in how the extraction is going to look like and if there's any difference in how the extraction is going to taste like uh, when using different bases. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use 17 grams in. I'm going to use the same basket. It's a BST 20 grams basket. Um, so I'm going to use 17 grams in, um, between 32 to 34 grams out. And uh, temperature, um, I'm going to try and keep it as stable as possible. I have a heat exchanger here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, uh, a five second flush. Um, and, um, and I'm going to wait anywhere between five to 10 minutes between each shot so that the machine has enough time to kind of stabilize you know, pump has enough time to, um, you know, relax, um, and, you know, hopefully that would give us consistent results, uh, and it would only be, the tamper basis would only be the only valuable. So, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead now and start, you know, grinding the coffee. Uh, the first base that I have on is the curve. As you can see here, it's kind of wiggly. So, uh, that's the curve base. That's going to be our first shot. Uh, I'm going to bring the camera closer. I'm going to show you four different shots from the four different bases. And the bases that I'm using is the curve, uh, the C ripple, uh, I'm sorry, the C flat, flat, and ripple. So, four different shots, four different clips, uh, and we'll see how things look like. Okay guys, so now you had a chance to see the four different extractions. Uh, you know, please keep in mind there obviously could be um, uh, some distribution um, issues with the different uh, shots. I try to stay consistent by using the WDT technique, the distribution technique. 
I also try to use a distribution tool. I don't have the OCD. I use a Chinese knockoff distribution tool uh, that does a similar job to the OCD. Not sure if it does the same job exactly because I didn't do a comparison, but uh, it, it does a good job. So uh, that was my way to stay consistent. WDT uh, distribution tool and then 17 grams in, 32 to 34 out um, across all four shots. The only difference was the base. Um, coffee is the same, machine is the same, grinder is the same. So you be the judge uh, which base did a better job. If you have questions, comments, please leave them down below. Uh, and if you're gonna dislike the video, I would appreciate a comment explaining why uh, so I can improve on it next time. Thank you very much for watching and uh, please subscribe, like the video or leave comments and let me know.